Today, I want to talk candidly about my journey to financial freedom. Reaching that milestone was a dream come true, but there were quite a few lessons I learned, some the hard way. Here are 15 things I truly wish someone had told me earlier. Number one, it's more than numbers. In my initial days, it was all about the figures. But financial freedom isn't just about a set number in a bank account. It's the confidence and assurance that you can weather life's storms and take opportunities as they come. Number two passive income is key. I worked hard, saved diligently, but the game changer, diversifying income streams, investments, side ventures, royalties. These passive inflows helped accelerate my journey. Number three mindset shifts are vital. I grew up with certain beliefs about money, Shifting from a just enough to an abundance mindset took effort. I had to let go of old misconceptions and embrace a proactive money mindset. Number four emergency funds are essential. I once thought they were just a nice to have, but when unexpected expenses hit, and they will, these funds prevented me from diving back into debt or liquidating valuable investments. Number five, it doesn't solve all problems. I won't lie, financial stability is a blessing, but personal issues, health, relationships, they require their own care and nurturing. Money is a tool, not a cure all. Number six, lifestyle inflation is real. When my income rose, so did temptations. I had to actively choose not to elevate my spending proportionately, maintaining the frugality that got me to that point in the first place. Number seven, education never ends. The financial world is vast. New investment vehicles, changing market scenarios, evolving tax laws, staying updated was non-negotiable. Continuous learning became a cornerstone. Number eight, community matters. Connecting with like-minded individuals on this journey was priceless. From tips to motivation to simply having someone understand the challenges, these communities were gold mines of support. Number nine, balance is non-negotiable. Early on, I became borderline obsessed with finances. It took a toll. I learned that while financial goals are important, so is living life, cherishing moments, and making memories. Number 10, the power of giving. With stability came the ability to support causes and people. There's an unparalleled joy in being able to give without feeling strained, knowing you're making a positive impact. Number 11, be ready for criticism. Some chalked up my journey to mere luck. Others said I was too money focused, holding on to my purpose, surrounding myself with supporters and filtering out the noise was essential. Number 12, it's okay to splurge occasionally. After all, what's the point if you can't enjoy your hard-earned money? Treating myself within reason ensured I didn't feel deprived and added zest to my journey. Number 13, celebrate milestones. Every financial win, be it big or small, was a step forward. Celebrating them, even in small ways, kept my spirits high and my motivation burning. Number 14, diversification is a safety net. All investments come with risks. Diversifying meant I wasn't overly reliant on one source, making my financial foundation sturdier. Number 15, it's a continuous journey. Achieving freedom wasn't the end. New goals emerged, financial landscapes shifted. Being adaptive, vigilant, and open to learning remained crucial. Becoming financially free has been a transformative journey filled with its fair share of highs and lows, but each hurdle has been a lesson in disguise. If you're on a similar journey or contemplating starting, I hope my insights serve as a helpful guide. Do share your thoughts, stories, or tips in the comments. And if this resonated with you, a like and subscribe would mean the world. Until next time, let's keep nurturing our financial wellness and remember it's a journey, not a destination. Stay savvy, folks.